Hi everyone! We are from CS 1112 b UITM Cawangan Pahang, Kampus Rau. My Sarah, what we gonna do for today's activity? So today, we gonna teach on how to answer the question based on what we learn on STA Wi-Fi O. Yep, that's absolutely true. So, we are here to show our calculation on how we answer the question regarding to star 150. Let me show you on the first question. My Sarah, are you ready? Yes, ready! Oh, yes. So today, I will answer the question regarding to this chapter 3. The probability density function of a random variable x is given by... So you will have this uh, function, or we know it as a density, probability density function. So the equation usually asks you to answer or to show that k is equal to 16 for p. Find the cumulative distribution for random variable x, capital F of x, and C, calculate the variance of x. So, we have this function, and we need to find or to show that k is equal to 3 over 60. So, first, uh, as usual, we need to use uh, the formula, which is for, for this equation, we have we need to use this formula fx is equal to negative infinity to positive infinity fx ds equal to 1 so your negative infinity here will represent 0 and positive infinity will represent 2 and the function fx here will represent k in the bracket 4 minus x to the power of 2 dx is equal to 1 we get this function from here from here and lastly, you will solve the k and you get k is equal to 3 over 16. Next, for question B, find the cumulative distribution for random variable x, fx. So first, you need to use this formula and you need to consider the range of x is between 0 and 2. Then, Capital F of X is equal to probability of capital X less than X equal to integration negative infinity into X F D D T. So your negative infinity here represents zero and X represents X. X. This X you just need to copy from this X is equal to three over four minus three over sixteen T to the power of two D T. And you need to integrate the function and we we'll, and then we need to substitute the function. Then you will get uh, 3 over 4x minus 1 over 16x to the power of 3. So actually this will represent the cumulative distribution function. So next we need to we need to substitute the maximum value or the uh, upper limit of your interval into this function it is because we want to make sure the final answer that we get is equal to 1 thus the cumulative distribution function is capital F of X starting from 0 and we have we have our function here and last we have 1 with the respective interval or did C calculate variance of x? So we have probability density function here, and the equation asks you to calculate variance of x. So the formula for variance is equal to e e x power of two minus e x to the power of two. So from this, um, we actually need to find a uh, expected x, or we known as mean. So by using this formula. Negative infinity, negative infinity here will represent the zero, and positive infinity will represent two, and the function will will represent the three over six, three over six in bracket four minus x to the power of two here. 
And don't forget to turn with X. So after that, you need to do like this and integrate as usual and don't forget to substitute, substitute the value and as per the x, you will get 3 over 4. So next, we also need to, uh, to calculate, to, we need to find the uh, value of expected x square and then uh, we just need use we, we need to use this formula and find the final answer you will get 4 over 5 after you get uh, both value which is expected s and expected s square you can solve and you can find the variant of x and the final answer you will get uh, variant is equal to 19 over 18 So that's all from me. Thank you. How was it? Is that okay? Yeah. Do you get all the information? Yes, I get quite okay. So what about your topic, Mesara? Can you teach me? Of course, can. Yeah. The discrete random variable x has the probability distribution as follows: f x equal to c times phi over x for x equal to one. 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, we must find first, first question A. The value of the constant C. As we know, when we must find the constant, we must use the formula summation of Px equal to 1. Or we can say we sum all the probability it will equal to 1. So, first, we put the value of S into the function. As you can see, I put the value 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 into the function of c times phi over s. Then, we solve it until we get c equal to 12 over 137. Second question B. We must find the probability of s more than or equal to 1 and less than 4. First, we must construct the probability distribution table. As we know, already know the constant, we just plug in into the function, so we will get the value as we can see from this table. So, how to solve it? So, based on the condition of the question, so we will consider the value of 1, 2, and 3. After we put the value, we add up all the three value and we will get 110 equal to 137. Third question, C. We must find expected X and variation X. We solve the expected X first. Okay, to solve expected X, we must use this formula. Expected X equal to sigma X times V F X. So, as we can see from here, this is our value of X. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this is the probability value. So as we can see from this formula, we must times the value and the probability value and then we must edit up all of this to get the answer which is 300 over 137. We need to find the variant S. The formula of variant S is expected S square minus expected S to the power of 2. As we already have the expected S, we just need to find expected x square. Expected x square means you need to square every value of x and then multiply with their probability value. As we can see from here, we will get 900 over 137. So, when we have the both of the value, we just need to plug in into the formula of variable x and we will get the, the answer which is 1.77420 Last question D We need to find expected x 2x square minus 2x plus 3 To answer this question We must expand this first To become, to become like this 2 expected x square minus 2 expected x plus expected 3 So we just need to plug in the value that we got in the previous slide as we can see from here 
2 times 900 over 137 minus 2 times 300 over 137 plus 3. Why 3? Because expectant constant equal to constant. So, we already get the answer which is 1611 over 137. Julia, do you understand? Yes, my friend, I understand. Thank you for teaching me. No problem, Julia. So, that's it from us. So, I hope that you can follow what we discussed just now. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure share this video to your friends. And do not forget to like. Bye. Bye, Julia. See you soon. Do you want to know?